All right, welcome back. We have the rainfall getting out of the area right now. This batch is going to head on eastward and the next round comes in uh, from uh, the west and we'll slowly but surely see that come in around the two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock hour and continue through your evening commute. So another wet commute for us. We also have a marginal risk for severe weather. As I mentioned, you see that little slot down there that, that yellow that is out of our zone, but that is a slight risk for severe weather that's been kind of rolling with that all day today. We have about a 50% chance to finish out the afternoon and a part of our region is going to be in a marginal risk for tomorrow as well. You can see that. So we go into La Crosse. You're looking at starting out as I mentioned before, mostly cloudy skies. You've seen that already. Now we'll get some sunshine, then we'll get some clouds up coming back again, and that'll put some rainfall in the area in the form of rain and, and showers. And that will continue uh, again to turn to storm activity once we get into the, uh, the latter portion of the afternoon going into your evening commute. We'll do the same for Eau Claire as well. Cloudy skies getting into thunderstorm activity about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock and beyond. You have the, the, this as well. Not only do we have the showers and storms for your evening commute and possibly all the way to about 9 o'clock, we'll see some sunnier conditions coming in for Saturday and Sunday. First, we start off with about a 20% chance to a 10% chance of showers and storms for uh, Saturday and then we get into an afternoon of sunshine and then the uh, Sunday will look pretty nice as well. A whole bunch of sunshine for you there. Take a look at what I've got going on for you. We leave the 12 o'clock hour going into the 4 o'clock hour. Showers and storms working into the forecast. Then they begin to build. Now some of this is, was supposed to linger a little bit more so over us, a bit slower, but it seems to be passing a little bit faster going through uh, 9 o'clock with uh, uh, at least that rain and storm activity out of the area. You see it all the way up to Eau Claire as well as portions of Ladysmith. Storm activity continues. Once we get to the midnight hour, we're pretty much done for the night. You'll see maybe an errant uh, shower or two possibly coming in, but you can see maybe by the 8 o'clock hour, you're looking at rainfall by Ladysmith. Some of that will start to circulate down as an area of low pressure begins to build over Eau Claire and Ladysmith and possibly uh, the outer boundaries that are just over us. You can see that for La Crosse by the 12 o'clock hour for Friday. Boom, more storms come back in. You can see it stretching from the north and continuing on. So showers and storms coming in for Friday, going into another 50% chance of that going into the afternoon and evening hours and then we get lighter rainfall to finish out the remainder of the uh, evening and back into maybe some showers and storms going in for at least for Saturday. First it starts out with a shower and then a slight chance of a storm or two going into the afternoon as you can see and we're pretty much done for that rainfall and if we get into the sunshine to follow after that. Rainfall we're expecting for today based on from this morning all the way through the afternoon and evening and you can see it up to maybe uh, uh, about a half an inch or so possibly maybe three quarters of an inch. Then we finish out with the rain amounts for at least going into midnight tonight and or midnight tomorrow and then into Saturday night, midnight. You're looking at some pretty good rainfall there as well. How about this though? We'll finish out with this. Uh, we have a flash flood uh, potential moving into the area. Not much going on for any type of river flooding at all. Here a look at the zones as we finish out. You're going to be seeing rainfall for pretty much everybody across the board. You'll get back to the central zone and you'll see that across for everyone else with temperatures getting up to at least the upper 70s to the low 80s to middle 80s possible. And as we finish out over the next uh, few days, away we go with the 80s holding on. Now, of course, we dip down a little bit for tomorrow, but then we get back into uh, near seasonal temperatures to finish out for the weekend. And then into next week, we're much cooler. Why? Because, well, cooler air is on the way. It's going to stick with us for a while. Yeah, fall is just around the corner, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. I had to say it. I know. I had to go there. <sighs> <laughs> we're looking forward to it, I think. <laughs>